Hello, hello. Sing song. Oh, you're so right. Sing song. There you go. No. No. Whose birthday is it? Not my birthday. No. Perhaps it's your birthday. No, no. It's not my birthday. <laughs> no, no, no. Surely you're mistaken. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Sorry, just making sure all is well. Hello, hello. This should be good. Wait, familiars. There we go. So, I guess tonight's gonna be a grinding stream. I might do some bosses later. If not, then I'll probably play Witch Spring R or something. But for the most part, I just want to do a bit of grinding. Happy birthday. It is not my birthday. Oh, right. I should use uh, these things. Oh, no. No, it is not my birthday. It is not. No. Uh, how'd you get my name? It is not my birthday. No, 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 it is, it is not. No, you are mistaken. Why are you screaming? No, no, there's no need for that emote. 
It's not my birthday. Oh my goodness. Why is this playing? Hold on a second. Let me let me clear these mobs first. Okay. No, no, it is not. No, <laughs> no, it is not my birthday. Oh, actually, today's 11 11. Wow. What an interesting day. Help, what can I help with? How may I help you? Oh, you're laughing so hard you're choking on your food? Oh, uh, don't choke! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm glad you're happy and laughing, but... Uh, finish your food and then laugh. Or... I guess... You... What are you eating? Or what were you eating before you were choking? But it's something delicious and you're over here spitting it all over your screen. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. What is that quote? Oh, actually, it's time to start leveling up uh, Lord of a Deep. Pro training? <laughs> no, no, no. A pro would use frenzy. I am no pro. There we go. Okay, let's go put everything back down. How far am I in a Legion event? Uh, I have completed it. Now I do it mainly just for uh, extra Soul Erda. And you may be thinking, oh, why don't you just get Black Flames? I don't know. I just don't really feel like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm completely done with it. Why don't you use Frenzy? Actually, do I have a command for it? Exclamation point Frenzy? Oh yeah, I meant done in terms of like getting all the rewards. No, not FZ. There you go. Gotta respect it. You gotta type the whole name out. No, I have every character 210 and above. You're lazy? Oh, okay. You and me both. Someone says Frenzy and Maple? True. That they do. But not in this chat. You're going to have to work for your information. And plus, everyone always confuses, or sorry, new players always confuse Frenzy and Firestarter. So typing out the whole word Frenzy is probably easier for them. Oops. Is the relaxation worth progressing three times slower? I mean, eventually everyone's going to hit 300. I'm just going to get there slowly, uh, more slowly. So I would say yeah. They're different things? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna eat all your cookies. Double six, please? No, okay. Uh, what level's my skill for six job? Oh, all of them? Give me a sec, and I will let you know. Uh, 29, 29, 20, 29, and 9, and then Genesis 10.
Yeah. Uh, levels kind of stopped being a thing that I really cared for. I'm mainly leveling for fragments or um, what's it called? Soul Erda. I don't really need levels anymore. It is nice to gain something while, you know, grinding for that stuff, though. Now you may be thinking, oh, but with Frenzy you'd get them so much faster, but... I mean, I'm still getting it, right? I don't want to become one of those people that stops training just because they can't find Frenzy service. Like, there are people that, if they don't have Frenzy, they just will not grind at all. And I always say, any gains are better than no gains. Same with damage. Any damage is, you know, more than zero damage. Is it hard to find a seller in Barrow? I don't think so. I just find it very annoying. Frenzy addiction? Yep. You have 29, 29, 9, 10, 5, 21, 1, 11 for fit job skills. Okay. Thank you, thank you. But eventually everyone's going to have Frenzy, so it won't matter. In all of my experiences of using Frenzy, or using Frenzy service, either the seller kept casting even after I had already, you know, spent the hour that I paid them for, and then they wanted extra payment for the extra time that they spent frenzying me, and I was just like, no. Or they just forgot about me. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. I'll just grind normally. KMS can do it, and so can I. But I mean, everyone will have it. Uh, in the upcoming event, the, like, boss rush thing, I believe one of the rewards are, um... One of the rewards is going to be a 30-day frenzy. So, depending on when everybody claims it, uh, everyone could have frenzy at the same time. On a scheduled macro? Oh, okay. Yeah. They're going to start giving out frenzy, 30-day frenzies, uh, for doing events. And then they're going to give out 90-day frenzies for philosopher books. So, yeah, eventually everyone will have frenzy. If I ever buy Frenzy Surface, it's probably going to be just to finish my dailies super quickly, if I ever need to. Otherwise, I'm just going to use my own Frenzy. Ooh, an MVP. Actually, <clears throat> oh yeah, five minutes. It's going to be a town buff. Actually, I still have it. Let me see, what does it do again? Normal monster damage, boss damage, IED, and attack. Okay, I could, I could get it. That is helpful for the normal monster damage. Let's put that there, put this here. When I can, I ban someone. Oh. I didn't know you were a GM. Continue the good work. Keeping our servers safe from bots and macros. When I can, I ban someone. Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying... So, wait, are you asking when you can ban someone? <laughs> you typoed it. Oh, okay. 
I see, so it was a question. Uh, never? I mean, unless they want you to, I guess. But normally I handle all that. Normally. I put that a little too far to the right. That's okay, it should still hit. <laughs> Maybe forgetting the book? I mean, you are a mod. You have the power to do whatever you want. But abusing your power will, of course, get you unmodded. Nope. I guess nobody needs, uh, nobody needs cursed spell books. I'm also trying to sell a magical scroll, but nobody wants it. I? No, we got a book. Well, technically I got a book a long time ago, but I'm saving it for, uh... Excuse me. The best mod. Whenever they return to Maple. Um, so right now we're selling the red book that we got uh, recently, and then this book I'm saving for one of my friends. Whenever they make their return to Maple. No, it's not Res. That is not my best mod. Almost time to get the buff. Uh, I think 13, Bill? Wait. Wait a minute, are they saying... Wait! Okay, no, it's fine. It sounds a little weird, but hold on. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, there's something wrong with this. Okay, hold on. What? No, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> no. My goodness. You think about it because you're wearing an eye patch at the moment. Okay, I mean, if Blue Cow doesn't mind, I could give you a discount. But it is, you know, it's a. Why? I I don't know. I I uh, you know, I was trying to add it to my list and I misclicked. That doesn't mean request it again. I'm just saying, you know, I I uh, I misclicked for sure. Totally. Uh, but yeah, right now we have a red spell book being sold. It is currently the cheapest one, last I checked, which was like an hour ago. Um, but I did check the market price and they have sold for like uh, 11, 12 bill. I don't know. I have no idea. And the red one's the most expensive one, too. I've seen one that sold for uh, 8 bill. <laughs> it's uh, kind of crazy. Lowest tradable source is 9 bill. Wow. I wonder what's going on with prices. Like, why is everything so cheap? Is it because we're preparing for the server merge or something? Reset tickets? Oh. 
So uh, can they do the same thing for Etern uh, not Eternals? What are they called? Endless Terror? The ring? I would love to have the ring. I've already fought Gloom like two times this week, so uh, that didn't work out. Oh, also, let me get the event buff. No, not yet, not yet. 25 bill? Ugh. Is going down? Mm. I mean, I could afford that, I just don't want to. Server merge? You've really been out of the loop. <laughs> Here, let me give you, uh, the thing. Let me send you to the website real quick. There you go. Uh, been trying to sell, but don't want to sell sub 30. Mm, I see. But yeah, seems like they're doing a lot of pretty cool things in GMS. No! Let's just hope they continue the trend. No, don't. Don't. Why is... No, hold on. No! I mean, hello there, Toki. Hold on. Toki Dakari. Hello, hello. That's your favorite song? I'm sure it is. All right, this is the last time I'm going to summon before I go get the event buff. Hi, hi. Double six? Oh, yeah. Didn't know I streamed on Twitch? Oh, really? Then did you know that I, uh, I make YouTube videos? Although not as often as I stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really say that I stream, but um, in the intro of my videos, I have like all my social media on there. Watch the intro to this. All right. Rose, would you watch me in my sleep? Ah. <clears throat> No, nope. Nobody saw me at Maple Story Fest. What do you mean? Yeah, they would they wouldn't have found my Twitter. My Twitter is like the least suspect suspected place that I would think someone found me. Please. Here, you know what? Let me check on the book. Let me see. Maybe it did sell already. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Pichu Party. Nope, has not sold yet. But yeah, normally I'm not grinding on stream. But I figured today's a relaxing night. Might as well do some... And someone stole my channel. <laughs> yeah. 
It's all right. Other channels will probably be 100% burning. I already... Yeah. I already drained that channel of all of its burning. Never mind. I guess this map is more popular than I thought. I guess I'll go to my old map. Let me just make sure I looted everything. All right, nothing, nothing. All right, cool. Now, my other map always has burning. So if it doesn't have burning, we may have a problem. Let me see that 100%. Mm-hmm. What are you saving fragments for? For when I get enough soul erda to level up my other skills. Double six? Oh, triple six! Ooh. Watch it? Alright. I have to watch this still. Is that a sumo? Sumo wrestler? A crab? Okay. Ooh, what is that thing? Yeah, I like the glasses. Yeah, and fragments are super cheap, so... Ended up just picking up a bunch. Oh. Can I use a rune yet? I think so, actually. Oh, of course, there's a... What is it? What portal is it? Uh, I'm good. Six point five. Oh. Well, at least you're making more meso for the ones that you get. <laughs> Oops. What? Who's been licked? Not me. Keep your tongue in your mouth. Um. But yeah, right now I'm trying to work on leveling up my Lord of a Deep. Which is the dragon swirling around my feet. Uh, I need four Soul Erda. I just got it past the level 20 threshold, so... Yeah, I definitely have to start watching it. Looks like just the adventure I need. I remember seeing the manga update, and I'm just like, hmm, what is this? But I just never looked into it. And then it got an anime, and I'm like, oh, I guess it's good. But now I can't read the earlier chapters. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'd have to use a different website than the one that I usually use. <laughs> Wait, did I just... Oh, I ruined my triple six, didn't I? Oh, well. Uh, how much EXP do I have? 800. Yeah. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. I have to go do this.
Oh, time to go everything up. Put this back over here. <laughs> Actually uploaded a uh, Lotus video today. I'm trying to figure out what boss I want to do next. Like, should I do the Black Mage already? Maybe Kalos? Oh god, Kalos. Explaining Kalos? Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be quite the fun video. <laughs> Remember your ABCs. Always be cleansing. <laughs> I feel like Black Mage is probably gonna be, like, the longest video. Well, it might not be the longest video. Like, there's a lot, but... Not really. Black Mage easy. I actually have a Demon Slayer video ready to be uploaded, but there's also the balance patch coming soon, and, you know, I, I might as well not upload it, because balance patch is right around the corner. What I was planning on doing was just uploading it and then, like, I don't know, taking a picture of the balance patch and putting it, like, on the video. But I might as well wait until... The patch notes are or not the patch notes, but like the actual patches live. Because Demon Slayer gets an attack speed upgrade. Or an animation cut, meaning they can attack faster. Uh ho oh, oh, calling, Kaling, whatever you want to call her. I Yeah. I'm still very new to that fight. <laughs> so wait, I didn't even do a I didn't make a Saren video yet. I have to do that. Hey Owl. Um, yeah, Culling, I don't know how I'm going to make that video, because I don't understand the fight yet. So, I, yeah. I want to wait until I actually understand the fight before I make a video on it. Like, second phase I've never had to deal with, because my party always bursted it. And then third phase, I was always the one holding uh, Culling. So I never really got to experience doing the actual mechanics of third phase. So... I'll have to figure out how that boss actually works before I make a video on it. But Saren I can make a video on. Kalos I can make a video on. Black Mage I can make a video on. Balrog Explanation? Honestly, he kind of needs one. I feel like a lot of people go in realize they're not doing damage and then leave not realizing you have to stay there for like a few minutes because he's testing you he's trying to make sure you can do enough damage to satisfy him now of course the damage you need to do is heavily outdated now like you could probably do it on a level like a super low leveled character that could be a youtube short if anything you think i know how to upload youtube shorts <laughs> the only way I can do shorts is uh through Twitch. I don't know the aspect ratio for shorts. I tried looking it up, and yeah, I don't know. I think I made a video that was supposed to be a short, but then I uploaded as like a regular video. Imagine if it dropped a potable badge, and we never knew it. Ooh, imagine. I mean, I know nobody wants to hear me say this, but I kind of do wish that they would just remove potable badges altogether. So that people would stop complaining. Or just make every badge potable. You know, go one way or the other. So people can stop complaining. <laughs> like, I'm really about to drop my potable badge just so people, when they look at my gear, they're like, Oh, that's why you're so strong. I'm like, no, that that is like a minuscule part of my damage. It really doesn't help that much. It helps, sure, but it's not like the reason I'm so strong. It's 
So yeah, either bring it back for everybody or take it away from everybody that has it. Oh my, the price of the Jenny badge would go so much higher than it currently is. And I don't even know how much they cost right now. <laughs> that would obliterate the market for Jenny uh, badges. Like, nobody would be able to afford one. Now, here's the other thing. If we're going to give badges a pot, would you also want to give them Star Force? Hmm? They're not, but we're just uh, pretending here. We're, you know, we're... Hypo not hypothesis. What's the word? Uh, rhetorical? No? We're, we're having fun. You would take Star Force over pot? Oh, Really? That's the first I heard that. <laughs> I would much rather have potential than star forcing, mainly because I hate star forcing, personally. I really do not like star forcing. It's like my least favorite mechanic in the game. But, of course, that's just me. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the thought that it could be better, but yeah. I just, ugh, I hate Star Forcing so much. Hmm. Yeah, cubing more in regular servers? Mmm, I see. The thing about cubing in regular servers is just that you don't get to cube that often. Unless you're, you know, putting money into the game. So maybe that's why? But I, I, I just don't like the idea of having the possibility of losing an item. And then either having to buy it again or get it again. I, uh, I just don't like that. Now, if they can make Star Forcing not blow up your gear and maybe cost like triple the mace or something, I would prefer that even though I'd be in pain. <laughs> like, I just don't like that your items can just up and blow up on you. Personally. Also, I'm not very uh, optimal. Like, I don't really go for three line stat items. I, I settle on two line. So maybe that's why I like cubing a bit more. It's because I don't go for, like, the best of the best. If I did, I think I'd probably not like cubing as much. Oh, my things ran out. Oh, this, that, this, that, this, that, this. Also put this back on. Uh, anything else? Maybe this. Um, if you're going for the absolute best, then we're talking triple prime. Exactly. If I was someone going eh, if I was someone going for triple primes, I probably would not like cubing at all. One, because of the lack of cubes that we have. Unless you, again, put money into the game. Or uh because it's extremely rare to get that. But at least you don't lose your item. <laughs> now I guess. Getting terrible stats, something that you're not even going to be wearing, could be considered losing your item because you're not going to want to wear it if it's terrible. But at least it's still there. <laughs> uh, getting one item legendary to uni. Oh, wait. Oh, legendary from uni. That's fine. <laughs> 
At least once it's there, it can't be it can't go down again. Alright, let's see. Uh pretty useless and not worth. Not true, because it's part of the pitch set. Compared to a potable badge, yes. But compared to every other badge in the game, it is the best one because it's part of a set. Or because because it's part of a really good set. Uh, at least if they made it have thing, it might be actually worth it. I mean, if no badge had a pot, then I think the Genesis badge would be the best one. Again, because it's part of the pitch set. Uh, in general... Uh, discontinued. Oh yeah, we know that potable badges aren't going to return. You don't have to emphasize it, Alf. We already know. We're just messing around with ideas. Ugh, not my burning going down. Please. No need to be so serious. Now, imagine if they gave out... Well, I guess they kind of already do give out backpacks, huh? For, like, events and certain things like uh, the Inkwell gift. But, like... I, I, I say it multiple times a stream, or... I would say maybe, like, every three streams I bring it up. Imagine if they... Instead of having vac pets, there was a pet skill that had the vac ability. And... Of course, it wouldn't be permanent. It would be like a 30-day thing. You'd have to pay for it or something. But for 30 days, you'd have a vac pet. And you just have to pay for it every 30 days. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Then you could use all of your favorite pets, and they could be a vac pet. You won't have to worry about getting these very specific pets for the effect. And Nexon can keep making money through it because you'd be... It's like a subscription kind of thing. You just pay every 30 months for it. 30 months? Oh my god. <laughs> I meant 30 days. 30 days. Holy. <laughs> Woo. That would be uh, a little too nice. I mean, or they could make it 90 days. Like every other NX thing. But I feel like the longer it lasts, the more expensive it would be. So 30 days is probably a good... So that way it can stay at like 3.6k NX. And on that topic, imagine if they um, made the same thing for unit damage skins. So instead of having to get like a very specific unit damage skin, there's an item that just makes your damage skin a unit damage skin. Now that one I would hope would be permanent, but... <laughs> because I do have a favorite damage skin, I just don't use it because it's not unit. Yeah, in a perfect game, that would be the case. Sadly, Maple is not a perfect game, so they're not going to do that. They're just going to say, hey, if you weren't there for it, you don't get it. It's just like Frenzy. <laughs> Ooh, which one is that? I already put those out. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Are my familiars out? My familiars... Are not out. I knew I was missing something. Hello, Isaac. Did I already say hi to you? I feel like yeah, and you pooted. True. I was actually expecting them to um, give it the TMS treatment, where you won't be able to give service anymore. But. Good on GMS for allowing us to keep the current, uh, Frenzy. I was really expecting the, uh, the effect only applies if the totem is spawned. So if you leave the map or the totem disappears, it just doesn't have an effect. But yeah, GMS is just, hey, we'll give it to you. <laughs> Very surprising. Mm. 
pretty sure the new totems that we're going to be getting work that way. Where you have to be in the map, or like the totem has to be spawned for it to actually uh, have an effect. Which means that Frenzy sellers still get to, you know, sell their Frenzy service. And people that have the 30-day Frenzies won't be able to... Whatchamacallit? Oh, you got your Legion to 9k? Congratulations! Uh, won't be able to, you know, hop on that service. But I mean, everyone has their own Frenzy unless they want to... Like, probably they'll buy service until their totem... Hmm. Either they're going to get their totem day one and then not buy Frenzy service. Or they're going to wait until last minute, continue buying Frenzy service, and then claim their Frenzy totem, you know, later. I might wait to claim mine so that I can have mine longer than, you know, other people. And that way I can help people with their dailies. To make their dailies go by a lot faster. There's no unit version of it, but it's the black, blue, gray. Got it from placing top five. Oh. I wonder if I have it. Probably not. I don't think I'm, I'm that strong. Uh, damage skin. So you said it's... Nope, that's Alliance. You said it's black, blue, and gray. Black, blue, and gray. Sad news. Oh no, sad news is never good. It's kind of it italics. I don't know how to say that word. Hold on. Italicized. Ah, I've never had to say that word before. Yeah, I guess I don't have it. But the damage skin I would love to have uh, be a unit damage skin is this one. This one would be so nice. Yeah, and it matches my character and it's just, oh, I love it. It's either my favorite or second favorite damage skin. Oh, no. Oh, sorry to hear that. I know they were having uh, health issues, but I guess their time came. Their works will be remembered. This year, we're actually losing a lot of uh, anime... What would I even call it? Anime... Faces? Uh, like, important people in the anime industry? This is the year that destroyed a, a bunch of anime creators. Or people that are in anime. Anime Legends? Yeah, that. Toriyama. Toriyama hit me hard. Like, that one hit me the hardest for sure. Well, the year's not over yet, so I hope hopefully everyone stays healthy. Knock on wood, please. Because <laughs> if anything's going to happen, it's this year, it seems. <laughs> Well then, do whatever your ritual is for making sure that things d aren't jinxed. Whether it's crossing your fingers, knocking on wood, uh, wishing on a star, do whatever you have to do. I don't care how you do it, just, just don't jinx it. Wait, yeah. Sure is. 
like other years are like oh this musician died or this you know very important figure died and i'm like oh that's sad but this year has been so many anime people like people that are involved in like anime and i'm just like no <laughs> you'll never stop hearing about one piece it will forever be a thing Although I have heard uh, something about the voice actor for Luffy thinking about retirement or something like that. Again, it might just be a rumor, but... Oh, uh, yeah. That is an iconic voice. Speaking of Toriyama, anyone watching Dragon Ball Daima? You were bored? I think I had that issue. Um, and then like 10 or 14 years later, I decided, let's try it again. And then I like got hooked. Japanese, yeah. Yeah, Japanese Luffy. Sorry, I guess I should have specified. <laughs> Now again, I just heard that from a podcast, so uh, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Oh, let me use this. Should do it over here. Oh no! I'm very used to a lot of manga that I read getting axed, as in getting cut short. Uh, in fact, uh, there was a manga that I was reading today that got axed. Although I guess maybe it was about time. Like, I guess it was supposed to be like a short, a short manga anyway. But like, I feel like it was definitely cut shorter than it was meant to be. Uh, meant to be. Oh my god, the beginning was my favorite part. <laughs> the beginning was for sure my favorite part. I love me a good, uh, whatchamacallit, underdog story. But yeah, if you can get through it, hopefully you can enjoy it. There's an anime that I never continued, and I kind of want to. Uh, it's the one... I think it's called Hitman Reborn. Uh, it's the guy that has, like, a flame on his forehead. And I think he has a glove, and, like, there's a small, like... Mafia-looking, like, guy. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I, like, started it, and I never continued. Really want to, though. Um, another anime I want to get into is Fairy Tale, because I missed out on it. And then someday I want to watch uh, Naruto, because I never watched Naruto. Out of the big three, my friends were always divided, and I chose to go on the Bleach side because I like swords. Um, and then Bleach, you know, eventually uh, ended, because I was reading the manga, of course. And then I saw One Piece was still going, and I'm like, hmm... And then I saw Naruto was still going, I'm like, hmm. So I gave One Piece a shot first. Uh, wasn't super into it until more recent years. I think, what, like a few... I don't know. I, I feel like a few years ago I finally caught up in One Piece. But Naruto I just never did. I never read anything. I think I watched up until the... I think Sasuke and Gara were about to fight, and then I just didn't watch because I lost cable. It is. Once you really, like, get into it, it's uh, very nice. Very enjoyable. Um, I ended up taking a break from One Piece around the Skypea arc. Because I just, I was like, what's happening? Like, there, there's nothing really going on here. And then I got to, uh... 
Not Echidna. What was that guy's name? The electric guy. And I was like, whoa! What is this? <laughs> and that's when I, like, actually started continuing. So if I had just gotten, like, 30 chapters farther, I would have gotten to the part that would have kept me going. But I just stopped at a terrible time, I guess. Now, luckily, I wasn't watching the anime, because the anime is just... You, you get, like, 15 minutes of content. Like, every episode is basically 15 minutes. Everything else is recap. And I'm just like, ooh, really glad I didn't watch this. Like, I like the animations, of course, but... Man, just recap, recap, recap. Oh, why did that put down... Okay, um, alright, so I guess I'm doing this now. I think I lagged and it ate my, uh, up input. That's true. Um, I definitely could have. But I think when I was continuing back then, uh, or you're probably talking to Blue Cow about it, I don't know. But um, when I continued, I didn't know about it, so. And then by the time I did know about it, I was so far that I was just like, I might as well just continue the way that I have been. And when I say recap in One Piece, I mean the beginning of the episode. <laughs> I don't mean a I don't mean a recap episode. Although, did they have recap episodes? I don't remember. I think it was usually just the first like seven minutes of an episode was like, hey, this is what happened in the last episode. Now you're caught up. I'm just like, I didn't need that. I saw that episode recently. <laughs> but yeah, there is something called one one pace, which uh just skips all that. <laughs> yeah. It is good, though. When I, uh... When I was younger, I used to say I'm not gonna watch or read One Piece because of the art style. Like, it's too goofy to me. But as I got older, of course, I, I realized the reason that it looks that way is to emphasize, like, emotions and stuff. It, like, emphasizes a lot of stuff, and it's really nice. Like, it takes things to the extreme, and I like that. Also, you saying that you want to skip to the part where he's a vigilante? Uh, in, you know, My Hero? Makes me sound like you are... a meathead. And I mean that in the way of, like, you want action, you want grit, you want suspense! Rather than, you know, backstory and... Character development. It's like, uh, there's different types of Dragon Ball Z watchers. There's the people that just want to see action. They just want to see the fights. They want to see, you know... If there's a Dragon Ball Z movie, they want action. Rather than, uh, you know, story development. I feel like I'm a... I feel like sometimes I'm a, a Dragon Ball meathead like that. Where, like, sometimes when I'm watching the movie, I'm like, alright, where's the fighting? When are they going to start fighting? But then other times I'm like, oh, okay. We're getting some backstory on this character that they introduced. Alright, whatever, let's get to know them. And then next movie, I expect to see fights. Like, when I was watching Battle of Gods, I'm like, alright, come on. This is good and all, but... I already know these characters, except for the new ones that you introduced. Like, I don't, I don't need to know about Bulma and all that. <laughs> also, cute. You don't mind story development, but it was three or four seasons. Oh, I see. Um, I would say... I don't think there's... Hmm. Hmm. Mmm, no. Let me not say it. Let me not say it. I was gonna say, I feel like there's never really a moment where characters aren't developing in My Hero. Like, there's always just something going on that improves the character. Or at least they're trying to improve. Until, like, the final act, which I can't go over because the anime hasn't gone there yet. 
where like all the characters are in their best forms or whatever where they don't really feel like they can be improved anymore but yeah that's just my hero that's just the kind of anime and manga it is I will say I didn't really like the final fight I'm not gonna I mean, of course, you you know what the final fight's gonna be, but, like, man, I feel like that fight could have ended, like, 30 chapters earlier. <laughs> when I read uh, My Hero, I definitely felt like There were short periods of slice of life, and then it went straight back to the action. Now, it has been a very long time since I read, like, the older chapters, but, like, I was hooked. I was like, man, this is just nonstop action, huh? And then it would get to, like, a, a slower part, and I'm like, oh, okay. But then it would get straight back into the action, I'm like, oh! Like, I know a lot of people didn't really like the, uh... What are their names? La Brava and the other guy, the old guy. They didn't like that because it felt kind of slow. To me, I was like, I was hooked. I was like, oh my god. Look at these criminals. It's like, uh, Deku just can't get a break. He's just always fighting somebody. But to other people, they were like, yeah, that's a slow part. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize that fighting was slow. <laughs> like, as long as someone's throwing hands... I don't consider it being slow. Now, if they're talking, yeah, that's... I, I consider that to be a slow part. Like, uh... Reincarnated as a slime. One of the seasons was purely just meetings. It was like, oh, we have a meeting, everybody's talking, gets resolved, move on to the next meeting. They talk, gets resolved, it's a little bit of action, there's a meeting, they talk, it gets resolved, and it's like, okay... So, where's the action? <laughs> and then, of course, the season after that really, uh, was more... Because that season was setting up all of the action of the next season. Ooh. Exactly. And it was beautiful. What's another anime that did that, where people didn't like it because it was so, uh, not action? Oh, uh, Vinland Saga Season 2. I loved it, but a lot of people did not like it. They, they just wanted to see, you know, action and stuff, and I'm just like, oh, but this is so beautiful, though. So, yeah. Just, uh, different people. Different people like different things. <laughs> you got bored after 30 episodes? Oh my goodness. You still need to watch Delhi in the Dungeon. Uh, is that... Is that Dungeon Meshi? If so, I've already seen, uh... I'm, like, caught up in the anime. But not the manga. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I already I already saw it. Um currently I'm watching Ranma Half. Uh both the remake and the, you know, nineteen eighty nine version. Um Am I watching anything else this season that's, like, popular? I feel like a lot of things I'm watching aren't really popular. Like, they're not being talked about. Oh, Don Machi. Yeah, I am watching Don Machi. Never mind, there goes one. Oh, yeah, let me, let me check this. Let me see. Uh, what am I watching? So, I am watching... Dragon Ball Daima, Danmachi. 
uh, some anime I'm like somewhat interested in, but not quite yet. Like it hasn't hooked me, but I'm probably gonna finish anyway. Uh, the one with the guy that like doesn't want to do any work or something. Oh, Seven Deadly Sins. Yep, I'm watching that because I watched the previous season, so I was like, might as well continue. Uh, watching the new Pokemon, of course. Uh, watching the cute slime anime because it's a cute slime. Oh, Re Zero. I'm watching Re Zero. Shangri La Frontier. You can pause the music, can't hear you. Oh. Yeah, so I'm watching like Dragon Ball Daima, uh, Don Mechi. Don Mechi? Yeah. Uh, an anime where like a guy doesn't want to do anything but still leads to things being done. I'm like not super uh, into that one, but I'm just watching it because why not? Uh, Seven Deadly Sins because I enjoyed Seven Deadly Sins. Although I didn't watch the anime after like a certain season, but read the manga, enjoyed it. And now they're coming out with like a sequel, so I'm just like, yeah, let's watch it. This is the second season of the sequel, I believe. Uh, of course I'm watching one, well, I guess One Piece I'm not really like watching, watching. I'm just uh, reading the manga, really. I'm like skimming episodes. But I'm mainly just reading it. Uh, the new Pokemon I'm watching. Oh yeah. Ooh. Maybe I'll get into it. Uh, watching the cute slime anime. I'm not like super into it. Like it's very. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to describe it. But it's cute. Uh, watching Ranma, both the remake and the 1989 version. I read the manga up until I think, like, the final book, but I don't remember, like, any of it. So this is all... I'm pretty much watching it as if it's new to me. Um, I think all of the characters that I remember show up in the first, like, 15 episodes. And then everything after that is just, I don't remember. Mm. Excuse me. I'm also watching ReZero, uh, Shangri-La Frontier, second season, and an anime about a lady who got reincarnated and gets to visit her family again. And that is all of the anime I'm watching this season. You did? Oh, I hope you can relax in today's stream. Here, I'll do this. Geo might complain about not being able to hear the music, but now you guys can hear me. There was another anime that, uh... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Work sounds like a pain. Um... Actually, it might be the one that you're talking about. Maybe. Mm. Nope, nope, never mind. It is not that. It, it's one that's like. They defeated like a thousand slimes or something. Or maybe it has something like that in the name. And I wanted to watch it, but I never did. This is the anime you were talking about? Yeah. I enjoyed it. Oh, okay. But yeah, it was... It was interesting to see all of the... Biology? Is it biology? Basically, all the ways that they can cook the creatures. And of course, uh, my favorite character didn't show up until later. But it was worth the wait. I was actually watching this and uh, Frieden. I was watching Frieden for the second time and this for the first time uh, with my girlfriend. It was her her second time watching this and my, 
my first time, and then it was my second time watching Frieda, and it was her first time watching Frieda. So we kind of just, like, you know, went back and forth on watching them. It was nice. Now you don't. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Uh, coming Thursday, you get to work even harder. Yeah. Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't miss it. But hey, do your best. I'm sure your efforts will pay off. Oh, do I not have... Oops, I have not been using uh, boosters. There we go. Let's make sure we pick everything up. Noise. Oh, let's put this here, put that there, turn around, put that there, and continue the grind. Oh, wait, that means I'm missing this. And I probably don't have Echo, so... Can I get a double six? Of course not. Mm. Wait, does that mean this burning went down to like 60% already? Sure hope not. It is... 70%. Ugh. Oh, CCing, not me. I mean, it's not what we want. Sad music? Oh my. Wow, so close to 285. <laughs> now 290. Um, so for that, I'm uh, gonna have to say no. No. At least not soon. Eventually, but uh not not soon. Not soon. <laughs> I didn't say yes. All I said was I'm it's not up to me. It's your song request. Or I should say it's not up to us. But fine. <laughs> oh, so now you take it as a no. Oh my goodness. Fine, if you won't, I will. Actually. No, I won't. I'm not going to do it. 
Oh, how is it almost 11 already? Or, sorry, almost 12. Time's going too quickly. Oh, why does a portal always appear when I put down my summons? It's always right when I put my summons down. Alright, what do we got? I have not seen a Polo portal, like, at all today. What is going on, Polo? Or Pollo? Why are you avoiding me? Of course it's Chicken Dance. Also, the song I was going to request was going to be Speedcore, so it, it wasn't even going to be uh, Hardstyle. It was going to be Speedcore. But I decided to spare everybody. Also, I'd have to find the song again. It's been years since I listened to it. Oh. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, wow. Hmm. My goodness. Okay. Sad music's coming up. Oh boy. If I request sad music, it's all going to be Toho. Actually, I kind of do want to listen to uh, the yokai who loved a human. Hmm. Hmm. No. You love your new mouse? Glad to hear it. Make sure you name it Pichu. I'm kidding. Don't. Colorful and bright, just like Pichu. I'm kidding. Don't don't name it Pichu. Yes, I am using reverse psychology. It's it working. Hello, J. Carlos. How have you been? How you doing? Who's getting booped? Is this school days? It is school days. Nice. I think my favorite song from this is, uh, it's like a waltz song. I don't remember the exact name of it, but I love it. Never saw the anime, but love the music. Ooh. 
<laughs> Please give me a double six. Who bonked me? And why'd you bonk me? I didn't do anything yet. I think. Raichu! Hmm. Okay. That's fine. I look very bonkable. Me? I I am not bonkable at all. Hold on, Peachy Butt. Peachy Butt. Do you think that I look bonkable? Do you, do you think I look bonkable, Peachy Butt? Okay. All right. Um. Peachy Butt's clearly just joking. I don't look bonkable. <laughs> why? Why, Peachy Butt? Why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh my goodness not the quotes the eight ball never lies uh i mean okay okay you say it never lies right let's see Let, let's test that theory um, hmm. Hmm. Let me think, let me think. Uh... Pichu Bot. Do I truly love Pichus? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Um... Huh. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Uh. You what? Hmm. Hmm. I got nothing. Why am I being bonked? Wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. Ichibot. Do you think that I should be bonked? Do, do, do you think I should be bonked tonight? Bruh. See? I don't, I don't need... Why were you laughing, though? But, like, I don't have to be bonked. See? Bruh. Thank you, Ichibot, for having my back that time. For once, Peachabot actually helped me. <laughs> Rachu's better than Pichu, your opinion? It's well, actually... I would say in battle, yes, definitely true. I don't think people should be putting their babies into battle. So you are correct on that. But in every other way? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Double six? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, that's fine. It's all good. Here, teach about isn't Toho like the greatest thing ever made? What?
I may have to, uh, reprogram Pichubot. <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe Pichubot got infected by a virus or something. Uh, that, that is false. That is a false answer. <laughs> hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, speaking of sad anime, I need to watch uh, Anohana. Heard that was a good sad anime. Apparently it's also pretty short. Hmm. Need to watch this? What's this? Oh, Guilty Crown? Hey, Pichubot. I have a question for you. Whenever I think of the anime Guilty Crown, what goes on through my head? Hmm? What, do, what do I think about Guilty Crown even though I haven't watched it yet? Holy moly! <laughs> what? That is not... <laughs> now, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but why? No, I don't. No, it is not my birthday. No, we, we went over this earlier. It is not my birthday. Oh, didn't I just get a double six? Let's try again. Double six? <laughs> Please! you but do you think I should evolve you should you become a pika butt no okay you're you are definitely infected you're giving nothing but wrong answers Why is Peach about all about death tonight? Jeez. About murder and dying. Alright, here, let's let's change it up a bit, huh? Peach Bot. When I look at my book, my own character, how do I feel? What do I what do I think when I when I look at my own character? Okay. Did you about so violent tonight? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't question it. <laughs> no, no worries. It's all good. No, you shouldn't. I mean, no, you should, because Pichubot is adorable and amazing, but uh, you shouldn't. No, no, no. Here, here. I'm going to... I'm going to restart Pichubot so Pichubot can have a, a new uh, view on life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart Pichubot. Nope, nope. Clearly, Pichubot was infected by some kind of virus. Oh my goodness! What is going on? Why are we only getting violent... violent... violent? Violent quotes. <laughs> I mean, if it's not popped out in the first place, FBI, then I... Why is the FBI here? Then you, would, you can only assume that it's going to pop it out of place and then pop it back into place. I mean, I always said if I was ever a healer, 
and you got on my nerves, I'd, I'd be the healer to, like, break your bone and then heal it back and break it again and heal it again. <clears throat> anyway. Hate you, bud. Actually, I got nothing. Um... What what can I ask that won't lead into a violent outburst from Pichu Bot? Uh Hmm. I'm trying to think of something that's gonna for sure be like Like there's no way you can give a Violent answer. Um... Pichu bot. How do I feel... about this season of ReZero? Wait, that actually makes sense. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Alright, at least we didn't get a violent quote that time. I mean, the game is kind of violent, but, you know, that we're, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Was that Pokemon? Yeah, it was Pokemon. Pichubot, do you think I should kill Owl? <sighs> Fine. Fine. I guess Pichubot ran out of all their uh, bloodlust. They're, they're sleeping now. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, okay. Oh, this map, okay. Mm. Oh, wait, I still need the thing, so probably shouldn't kill all of them. Hmm. Hey, Peachabot. Actually, before I ask you, where's the eyeball? Wait, did I already kill them all? Oh, no, it's right there. Alright, that is all of them. Now we just destroy the map. Oh, well, I, I am not. <clears throat> Eat you, bud. Do tell us the words that I'm going to say once I hit level 285. When I hit 285, I'm going to be super excited. So what am I going to say once I hit 285, huh? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll say that. Ooh. Glad it wasn't anything, uh, terrible. Hey, Pichu Bot, just to bring up an old topic. Bring back an old topic from earlier in the stream. Pichu Bot, how do, how do you think that I feel about potable badges, hmm? Let's see. God, jeez. What is that quote? 
No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. See, th this one is a palate cleanser. I see. I, I see. Um... <laughs> no, 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 no. FBI is not needed for that. Don't, don't worry. It was, it was an innocent uh, statement. <clears throat> you know, I feel like I ask this every few streams, but teach you about when I think of lucid. When, when I think of the boss Lucid, what goes on through my head, hmm? Hmm. I see. Now, FBI, open up! Out, of, out of context, that sounds bad. Okay, out of context, that sounds very bad. <laughs> but there are chests... As in, like, things that hold things in, in... <laughs> I'm just saying, in context... Yeah, of course! Oh, so, for those that are new to the stream, uh... All of the quotes are quoted because they're out of context, and it makes them sound worse out of context. So, in context, all of the quotes are safe. Well, okay, not all of them. Most, like, 92% of them are safe, but out of context, they are sometimes not. Just have to put that disclaimer out there. No, 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 you should listen to me. What do you mean, confirmed? Nothing's confirmed. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um... No, I don't ever do big explanations. Isn't that right, Pichu Bot? I, I don't do big explanations, right? Yeah. Pichu! <laughs> Thank you for the Pichu. I am a very, uh... Alright, never mind. <laughs> No, don't boom. Speaking of booming, I'm scared for my Eternals. And by Eternals, I mean I only have one. They're communicating only through uh, sound effects. Wait, what if I do add like sound effects that are... I could like have a conversation. You could have a conversation with with them. I have like a hello. Uh, that's rude. Just like random sounds. What do I dream of? Oh, please tell them. Okay. That is not. <laughs> that is not true. My dreams, when they exist, are usually pretty confusing. But here, I'll, I'll show you. So, Pichubot, please uh, tell us exactly what happened or how I felt during the last dream that I had. See? Wait. Wait, hey, okay, the way that you said that sounds bad, but 
even even Ash slept with his Pikachu, okay? It it wasn't like No, it wasn't like that. It's not how you guys are taking it. Oh, hello. Why would you do that? Why would you harm Pikachu? You know what happens when you do that. <laughs> Been busy with Legion? All good. Glad to see you're uh, progressing. It's not me! <laughs> oh my god. Pichu bot, do you not see what you're doing? Do you, do you not see what you're making everyone think of me? How much percent did I gain today? Wow, 4%. Ah, oh, and that's all my coupons. Which means... I think it's time for me to do dailies on other characters. Wait, let me make sure I loot everything first. And I did say loot with a T. I know when I say loot very quickly, it sounds like another word. Excuse me. Oh, cute. Oh my god. No, Pichu Butt. Please. Make sure I handed all these in. Oh. Oh, wait. I didn't do this yet. No, no. Nothing loot here. No, no. We are we are wholesome. In fact, I'm gonna because I'm such a good boy and so wholesome, I'm gonna get three really good items here. As a reward. So thank you so much in advance, Maple, for giving me such great rewards. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? That was like a medium. That was like a medium. <laughs> Why is that on my screen? Why is that on my screen? Oh my goodness. Um, I already did that today, did that, did this. All right, so that means Buck is done. Two days and now it sucks. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Okay. These are tradable. Throw these down here. Did I already use this this week? Pretty sure I did. Does it, does it not work? Oh, it says I already did it. Okay. Um, Don't know what's in here. Can't open it yet. Oh, look at the dancing! Oh, look at that! Oh! Cute! You had a giant lag spike? Uh, probably from all the emotes on screen. Bruh. <laughs> I... I don't have any tissue. I need tissue. My nose is running. You better go catch it! What is that? Oh, what is that dance? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> um... Still need the damage skin from that. Oh, that's cute. Be right back!
Everyone be good, okay? Be good while I'm away. I'm gonna be away for like 30 seconds, maybe less. Be right back. What is going on? Oh wait, what is that one? Oh, why are they squiggling like that? Alright, I have returned. Um... What? Okay, hold on, I gotta jog my memory. Oh, the... What do you call it? Boxes. Oh wait, did I already open them? Did I already open the uh, elite boss boxes? I guess I did. Yeah, they're not showing up here anymore, so I guess I did. Welcome back. Thank you. What is that emote? Why does she look like that? <laughs> Good night. Sleep well. Blue cow, these are my parting words to you. That you have the sweetest of dreams. So Peachabot, please give Blue Cow my parting words. Exactly. So you're not going to miss anything, because apparently it's a short stream. No. <laughs> uh, let's go to Marksman. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those days. I'd be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a short stream, only like two hours, and then I go on for like ages. No longer. When I say it's a short stream, it pretty much still isn't a short stream. But it's not eight hours. Um all right. Let's do Monster Park. <laughs> what? No, don't. Oh, my goodness. Let me get over here. Nope, you ain't looking at me. Keep your tongue in your mouth. Do it! Go into the future and play it. Hello, is MapleStory free-to-play friendly? Is it worth giving a shot? I mean... Free-to-play friendly? I don't know about friendly, but you can play free-to-play. If you play in a server called, uh, the servers that are called interactive, you'll have a bit of a tougher time, but, I mean, as long as you can get the in-game currency, there's pretty much nothing you can't buy. Um, and then if you play in these servers called Heroic, it's more, you have to spend your time in order to upgrade stuff, rather than the option of putting money into the game if you wanted to. But I play in interactive, so if I wanted to, I could put money into the game, I just choose not to because I have better things to spend my money on. But, to answer your question, as someone who's been free-to-play since 2006, it's gotten better. <laughs> it's certainly gotten better. There used to be almost no progression if you weren't paying to, uh, you know, putting money into the, uh, putting money into the game. Nowadays, it's so much easier to play, uh, for free. Yeah, it's very doable. You just have to have patience and take advantage of events. I got licked? No, you keep your tongue in your mouth. You're welcome. Oh wait, let me put this up here. 
Maple is the kind of game that really wants you to try out a bunch of different classes, though, so if that's not really for you... <laughs> I always tell people, uh, if you want to focus on one character, just know that you're going to get a lot of people telling you, hey, you should be working on Link skills, you should be working on Link Legion, which is essentially just playing a bunch of other uh, characters. Uh, oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. You're used to it, then. Yeah, pretty much just do what you want. <laughs> now, would I say it is most beneficial to play other characters? Yes! Would I say you have to? No. But it is very, very beneficial to, you know, play other characters as well. Um, a lot of people will tell you to play in Heroic, because that's the most popular server, you're going to find a whole bunch of people there. Um, the times that I've played there, yes, there were a lot of people, but it was also very lonely, if that makes sense. Like, even though there's a lot of bodies around, a lot of those bodies don't really feel like interacting with you. So if you just want to see a bunch of people, sure, that's great. But otherwise, uh, I just feel like I was more... I was, like, interacting more in the interactive server. I mean, it makes sense because the name is interactive. Um, but the benefits of Heroic over Interactive is Heroic, you can grind for all of your games. Uh, there is no trading, though. So, again, everything is just made through your uh, efforts. Um, you do feel like a steady stream of progression until you get to, like, much, much later in the game. And then Interactive... There is trading. So let's say you don't want to put money into the game, but you're for some reason good at making Mesa, which is the in-game currency. You can pretty much buy everything. Also, fashion story, which is, uh, you know, dressing up your characters. Fashion in Interactive is so much easier because you could just buy it with Mesa, which again is the in-game currency. <laughs> But choose whatever server you want. Do some, do a little bit of research. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's up there. What is that? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me, let me refresh the, uh, the chat. Um, yeah, there's like ongoing feuds between both servers. Don't, don't listen to either of them. Like if they're, if they're talking about one, one server's better than the other. They're not. We're all just playing Maple. But, uh, yeah. If you do decide to play Maple, I hope you enjoy it. It is, uh... Where is the chat? Oh, here it is. This, that, refresh. And now I have to refresh this as well. Okay, there we go. I remember I said uh, I was going to try the art, art, the artist class in uh, Lost Ark whenever it came out, but then I just never downloaded Lost Ark again. But it was fun for the first like week I played it. I didn't even get like super far. Why? I, I feel like I do that with a lot of 3D games. I did that with Final Fantasy. I think I got to like level 14 or 15, and then I stopped playing. I still have it downloaded, so I could play it again. You what? But I, I just, I play a bunch of other games. Yeah, I, I get it, because she's the hard draw art. Okay, yeah. It's just, with that picture, and, and the... You know, it, people might take it as another... Um, alright, let's do the dailies on this character. Both. I mean, do you actually want me to answer that? Yeah, I will say in interactive server, which people also call regular server, um, you can kind of skip progression because people could just give you gear, which I often do a lot. So you could just kind of skip progression. But eventually you'll hit a wall because you can't uh, upgrade your gear as much. But 
That just comes with not paying to win in a server that allows pay to win. Yep. You can go to this, which is the Meso Market. Spend your in-game currency to buy, like, like, it's called Maple Points, which is essentially, if you had spent real money, you would have had NX, which is kind of the same thing as Maple Points. Arc Bucks, thank you for translating it to Lost Ark. <laughs> yeah, basically you trade the in-game currency for what you would have gotten if you spent real money. Although this is way cheaper than it. Uh, I miss when this was 1,000. So that way I could sell uh, Meso and get a lot more back. But right now, if I sell... Uh, what was that, one bill? If I sell one bill, I get $5 back, basically. Uh, I miss when it was $10. Oh well. Um... <laughs> I think it was more than two years ago. It was a while back. I mean, it could have been two years ago. I don't know. Me and time don't ever get along. Last night? Wow. I was doing dailies. Who are you trying to shock, Isaac? Oh no, my pet expired. Well, you know what happens when pets expire. Oh, you're shocking yourself? No! If your pets expire, you just go to the cash shop. This is where all like the pay-to-win stuff is, but there is a section in the cash shop that is for free-to-plays, which is the Maple Reward Shop. Uh, how much is it? I don't have enough. True, but those are expensive. Or are they? Last time I checked, they were like 280 mil. Uh, water of... Oh, wow! They went down. Nice! Uh, I don't have a hyper rock. Right, I was going to revive the pet. With all those menus? Oh, it is... Just you wait. There is a lot to this game. Like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say this game is beginner-friendly, because there's so much to learn, but once you learn it, then yeah. Like, there's so many ways to upgrade your gear. For sure. Which is why you gotta go to streamers, so that they can help you understand all this stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, don't understand the gameplay, you control your character up and down and attack with them. So many numbers. Yeah, don't worry about the numbers. <laughs> oh! oh, he went to bed though! No, he went to bed! No! Blue Cow, if you're still here for some reason, our book just sold. Oh, he, he's in bed, though. He's gone. Alright, well, I'll, I'll give him the meso tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in this game... You're basically just going around defeating monsters, or defeating bosses. Um, right now I'm doing dailies, which, of course, I'm sure there's dailies in Lost Ark. But I just have to kill a certain amount of enemies. They respawn every 7 seconds. Um, so in this map I have to kill 200 enemies. Pretty easy. The numbers get very high in this game. I believe the highest damage you can do is... Was it... No, it's not 500 trill, right? No. 700 bill? Thank you. Wait, is it actually 700 bill? Oh my god. And how much Mesa can we have now? Oh no, there is... Well, okay. Hmm, hmm. Let me not say there's no auto battle in this game. So... You're primarily doing everything manually. 
there are some classes that can play like as if it's automatic like they have summons like you just put something down and it'll just cover that area for you but for the most part you're always uh you know pressing the buttons manually this is not an auto battler game Although, if you're playing the mobile version, it is auto-battle. Uh, there is a mobile version of Maple, which uh, does have auto-battle. But yeah, not the live version. Um, let's go here. Yeah, the game came out... The, the first release of the game was 2003, which was in Korea, and then I believe... 2005 is when it came out for uh, Global, which is the version that I play. But I started playing in 2006. This is a very old game. And it's still getting support, still getting updates constantly. Still has events. So if you like 2D... And uh, your skills not having a cooldown. Well, okay, the big skills have cooldowns. But like you're like I can spam this skill, it has no cooldown. I can spam this skill, it has no cooldown. It's mainly the big attacks that have uh, cooldowns. Like this one has a sixty second cooldown. So it's like really big skills have cooldowns. <laughs> Why? Why is it down there? <laughs> At least it's not coming out of Pichu. But yeah, give it a try. Hopefully, you oh, wait, wait, wait. There is something that I wish that they would deal with that I think that it would allow new players to stick to the game. But right now, <laughs> something that you're not going to like, a lot of people don't like it, unless you like lore. If you like lore, you're going to love it. Um, your first time doing a story quest, you cannot skip it. And some of these story quests, they hold your hand until level 30. Um, so yeah. And then, of course, to fight certain bosses, you have to do a pre-quest, which some of them can be long as well. But the good thing about it is once you do it one time, you don't have to do it on any of your other characters. Like, there's an option to skip it once you do it on one of the characters. Or, if you've done it previously, you can skip it on the next characters. <laughs> Kadena's story quest? Yeah, a lot of story quests. Like, at least with certain classes, you can, like, do the first ten levels of the quest, which is, like, super fast, and then move on and level up and then have to do the quest later on. But then there's some classes that you cannot skip it whatsoever. Oh, I already finished. Jeez, I didn't even realize. Um, so we go here. You have to pay to skip it. Oh, they should do that in Maple. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Maplers would hate that. I mean, this game already has a... a, st a stigma of being pay to win. Or whatever. And players are very unhappy whenever they add more pay stuff. But then again, recently they've been doing a lot of uh, free stuff. Like, they've been really, uh... They've been better about it. Won't let you gain EXP outside of the... Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was that bad. If I play an EU server, can I still play with you? No, they're separated, sadly. Yeah, they're separated. In fact, a lot of EU players don't even play in EU. They end up just going to the NA servers. <laughs> but I mean, if you really just want to have a somewhat probably more stable connection, then yeah. I have heard some players from EU having a ping, a, a ping problem in NA, but a lot of people are just you know, it doesn't bother them that much. I guess it really depends on your internet or something. I don't know. 
I have one of my friends that's in EU and he plays in uh, NA pretty well. I don't think he uses a VPN or anything either. But yeah, he he seems to be doing all right. I think the only thing for him is um if I like if like Mace was on the floor or something and he goes to pick it up. Okay, that's a terrible spot for it to be. Um so like if he walks by it and picks it up, it'll take like maybe half a second for it to register. But other than that, everything like the gameplay isn't interrupted or anything. It's mainly just picking things up, which pets kind of do that for you. Like once you get a pet, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it varies. <laughs> Jeez. Oh wait, this isn't the map that I used to use. It was this one. Oh, I should see if Isaac needs to do daily. No, I think Isaac's taking a break, right? Because he hit 9k. Isaac, if you're still here, are you taking a break from Maple? After hitting 9k Legion again, congrats. To quickly explain what Legion is. So this, this number over here is the total, well, it says it right there, the total number of levels of your top 42 characters. So I have 9,320. If you add up all of my top 42 characters, that's the level that it's going to show. However, um, there are certain chairs that will actually show you your total level, like including all of your characters. And I think mine is like 11,000 something. But I'm also not like... I'm, the, my super, super heavy grinding days are kind of behind me. But yeah. Maple's fun. I mean, right now I have... 57 characters? Or, sorry, 57 character slots taken up. There's a total of... Was it 54 classes? That number might be wrong. That number might be wrong. But yeah, there's a lot of classes in the game. There's a class for everybody. Well, unless you really like earth magic, in which case there's not really earth mag magic in the game. Visually, there's earth magic, but there's no like earth elemental whatever. Like I would say Laura probably has some earth element. Oh my. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, welcome to Mabel. And I explain how ring swapping works for Oz rings, like the cooldown on both rings. Um, I actually don't do ring swapping, but I can try my best to explain it. Uh, if you give me, you know what? No, I'll do it now. I can always swap back to my marksman later. But there's only one character I have right now that has two Oz rings, but I I hate ring swapping. Like, I really, I really don't like ring swapping. Um, but I will do my best to try and show you. So on a very burst-heavy class like Arc, um, you would want to ring swap. On a class like Buccaneer or Battle Mage or classes that are DPM classes, you could just use Continuous Ring. You don't have to worry about ring swapping. You just keep on the Continuous Ring forever. Uh, but for classes like Arc, this is the weapon jump ring, so when, when I'm about to burst, I put this ring on, uh, I activate the effect. Actually, let me switch this. So here's the ring. Activate the effect, uh, do my burst, whatever my burst is, bam, you know, do all the damage. The ring effect is up here. Um, and then once my burst is over, and also when this expires, Then you swap to the other ring. And then wait for your burst again. 
What I usually do is I swap to my stat ring. And then, you know, do damage until I'm ready to burst again, and then I'll swap to my other burst ring. But, uh, I'm pretty sure you could just put that on. But yeah, this is a two-minute burst class, so... Kinda doesn't work out. Because I believe the cooldown is three minutes for each of those, uh... Oh, yeah. Um, so... I just used it, and remember the cooldown is three minutes. So if I put it back on... Where is it? Oh, here it is. You can see the cooldown is now, like, a little above one minute. But these are the only rings that do that. If you try it with the continuous ring, um, the continuous ring pretty much goes on a two-minute cooldown every time you re-equip it. So, yeah, with these rings, the cooldown will go... will continue to count down even if you have it unequipped. So if I put it back on now... yep, still going down. Yeah. But again, I'm, I'm still very new to ring swapping, and I don't like it. I, I just want to get a continuous ring. Ooh, nice! Oh, whoops. Alright, then I use this ring. Make sure I stay within this area, do my burst. And then I can swap to the other ring. And that one now has a 40 second cooldown. Are Oz rings perma equipped now, as opposed to a stat ring? Um. For continuous ring, yes. For like these two Oz rings, I'm not. Ex I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm still pretty new to ring swapping. So I'm not really sure how people uh, do it. You put the ring activation skill in the beginner tab on a key. All the ring... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. No way. No way. Oh, huge. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, wait, but I still have to have a separate button to activate it, right? Oh, I hate ring swapping. Wait, no? Wait, what do you mean, no? <gasps> wait, I could just press this button to activate it? Let me see. There's no way. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. That makes it so much easier. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Holy moly. Okay, so now I can actually have this button free again. What I used to have there? I don't remember what I had there. Um... Oh, wait, I remember what I... No, I didn't have anything there. Because this is Angelic Buster, and this was... Yeah, it was just an emote, so... You know what? Let's put that emote back. Actually... What I'm going to do instead is put this here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Alright, now I can switch to this. I said switch to this. Yeah, wow, that's so, so easy. Oh, that's so nice. Um, I'm trying to remember, what button did I have there? Because this is here, that's there, that's there. So I'm missing a button, but I don't remember... Oh, I know what it is, it's my hyper. I remember now. There we go. Oh, that's so cool, though. Wow. Oh, that's... Okay, so wait, you seem to know a lot about uh, ring swapping. Do people just keep the rings on or do they have a stat a third like a stat ring that they swap to cuz clearly the stats on these are terrible so like while both of these are on cooldown do you just swap to a stat ring or do you actually just like why would you do that why would you make me take a shot of water
I mean, I guess I could just look it up as well. Depends on the class, if you're DPM heavy. Oh, okay, okay. Because I'm, I'm sure for three minute burst classes, they do just keep both ring, like swapping between both rings. Because, you know, this goes on a three minute cooldown, then you swap to this, uh, and then, you know, swap again. But Arc is a two minute burst class, so I feel like for one minute, you might as well just put on the stat ring. Otherwise, most people just perma those two. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I guess they don't use a stat ring then. Interesting. Thank you for the lesson. Um, all right, so that's there, that's there, that's there, and that's there. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I just remembered. Yeah, it's so much easier in certain boss fights. Like, I feel like... Because the boss is going to be, well, hmm. Because, like, I, I would hate to ring swap in, like, Varus Hiller or something, or, like, a boss that, uh, whatchamacallit, moves around a lot or something, or attacks a lot. Gloom is probably the best one, because it is a burst boss. <laughs> right. I feel like Lucid is a really hard boss to swap in. Actually, hold on. Can you swap when you're being attacked? I know for sure you can't swap if you're attacking, but can you swap if you're being attacked? Oh. Wait. <laughs> Wait, it's not letting me. Wait, is there anything on me that's attacking? No. <laughs> Jenny iframe oh my goodness pros <laughs> oh you pros yeah it makes sense though I wonder if I could do this like I, I think this counts as an attack but I can stay in it long enough oh I can't bring out my stat or my window all right, um, let me see. What if I can do it here? No, because this is an attack. Hmm. I'm trying to think of other iframes that I might have that might work. Well, either way, I learned something about ring swapping. So thank you. Yeah, I was, I was thinking maybe not just because it attacks constantly. Well, let's try it. Yeah. Like, the other skill I was thinking maybe I could switch, because it doesn't actually do damage until you come out of the ground. Here, let's wait 10 seconds. So I can't bring out the window, but... Oh! So not only does it take you out of the iframe, but it also tells you, like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I think in KMS, uh, you can be hit and still swap. But for some reason, GMS never got that. Yeah. But alright, cool. I did not know that about the uh, ring swapping thing. Thank you so much. That is going to help my arc. I think maybe I'll get a Roar 3. And then just only wear those two. Maybe I'll sell my slime. Oh no, I won't sell my. Maybe I'll give my slime ring to uh, my shade. Since I'll be hyper burning my shade. Maybe. Well, now that my training is done. What was my title again? Hmm. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> Someone did say shade, yes. 
Are you excited to be nerfed? I mean, uh, revamped? Are you excited for all of your new skills? Actually, let me give that to my... No, no, I'll use it here. Yep. See, what I figured their plan was, was not make the class too strong, but then if they found that the class was too weak, that they would buff them later on. <laughs> same. I feel like Buck kind of went through the same thing. No, sadly. Unless you're in Korea. If you're in Korea, there is. But, uh, if you're, you know, not in Korea, no, it does not exist. It did exist for a bit, and then it didn't get popular enough, I guess, or something, so they took it out, took it down. A lot of people miss it, but I don't think enough people will be able to support the game or something, I don't know. But it did exist. That one was a lot more, like, traditional MMORPG, where, like, there were actually, like, classes that had jobs that do things. Like, there was a knight that could, you know, apply a invincibility shield, or the priest who could, like, keep people alive by healing, and there, there were actually, like, class roles. In Maple, the class roles are really just do damage. Like, every class just wants to do damage. There are support classes, but they're kind of nerfing support soon. So, yeah. Now every class is just going to be like, hey, let's all do damage. Um, in my case, my main class Buccaneer, my supportive skills are Speed Infusion, which increase attack speed. However, most classes now can reach the max attack speed without this, so this is kind of useless. I also have Time Leap, which allows me to reset the cooldown of certain skills, which you would be like, oh, that sounds amazing, right? Well, um, there's not a lot of skills that really want to be reset. And the ones that do want to be reset can't be reset. Unless you're like a... Kana. I think there's another class that also wants Time Leap. But, um, yeah, Time Leap is not that useful anymore. Um, pretty much, I use it for Echo of Hero, which is a two-hour... Well, soon this is going to have like a, I think, three-minute cooldown. But right now it's a two-hour cooldown. So, of course, being able to reset this is amazing. So I can have it all the time. Most classes have to wait two hours. Uh, I also use it for my dice because it is RNG. So if I end up getting a roll that I don't like, like that, like I want to get another five, so I can just be like, nope, let's try that again. And I just got, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's a really, well, in the eyes of the game, it's a really powerful buff. Um, I would say that is I think that is the longest cooldown in the game. Never mind, Lynn has a 24 hour cooldown in one of her skills. <laughs> but, um, those are just very special skills, so, yeah. Um, a lot of classes are either 2 minute or 3 minute cooldown classes. And when I say that, I mean like for their major skills. So, every skill you see on here has no cooldown. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, every skill on here has no cooldown. Technically, this has a three second cooldown, but yeah, it's automatic. I don't know what that stands for, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Um, this only has a cooldown if you cancel an animation. Uh, the rest of these, oh, this has a cooldown because it's a buff. Has a three minute cooldown, but again, I can reset it. Oh, Threads of Fate. Oh, you're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, most skills in this game have no cooldown, unless you're a very specific class. Um, there are some combo classes in this game that they want to cycle through their skills because they have cooldowns. But then again, some of those classes also want cooldown skip, which is... 
Well, this cooldown reduction. Is there not cooldown skip? Oh, I thought there was a stat for cooldown skip. I guess not. But you, you know, you can reduce cooldowns. Wait, it's... wait, this is cooldown skip? Oh, yeah, it is. Why did? Why is it called that? <laughs> um, but yeah, some classes want this, which allows them to, you know, just spam the skill that they're not supposed to be able to spam. Um, and yeah. Of course, Buccaneer doesn't want either of these, because none of our skills that have cooldowns really need to be used like that. Yeah, Maple has a lot of freedom in terms of attacking. Again, unless you're playing one of those classes that have... Here, I'll show you one of them. <laughs> I'll show you one of them. Uh, I can either do Kadena or Kali. I'll, I'll do Kali. Although I guess Kadena would be a better showcase of it, because all their skills have cooldowns. But I'll do Kali, why not? So Kali! Um, the main attack has no cooldown. No cooldown at all on this. But all my other skills, like this, I can use it three times and then it goes on cooldown. I can reset the cooldown by using that skill, which when I use that skill, it then goes on a cooldown until I use the next time I dash or whatever. Um, and then, of course, this skill has a cooldown of, I think, six seconds. But you can reset the cooldown again with the spin, like the spin thing. So I could do this and then spin and then do it again. Um... Oh, of course, this has a cooldown, this has a cooldown, this has a cooldown. So this class is all about, like, cycling between your skills. But I do have cooldown skip on it. So I have a 19% chance to, uh, what do you call it, to skip the cooldown. Which allows me to just, oh, I think I have to hit something, actually, for it to apply. Do I? I actually don't remember. No? So I'm just getting very unlucky, okay. Yeah, let's try again. My goodness. 19% is nothing. <laughs> um Is that a is that one of these skills? Is that a fifth job skill? Yeah, grandest blessing. I feel like it activates a lot during, um... Oh, does it really? You don't use cooldown skip artifact? Uh... Nope. So many skills? Oh yeah. That's because this class is a combo class. Not every class is a combo class. Some classes, they just use two... Oh my god, let me show you, like, the... The class that you'll be pressing the least amount of buttons on. So there's... Oh my god, hold on, let me show you Kadena. Hold on, let me show you Kadena. Before I show you the class that has, like, the least amount of buttons you'll need to press. Let me show you the class with the most buttons you'll need to press. So this class, all of their skills have a cooldown, except for the main attack. This is the main attack. Doesn't have a cooldown. But everything else that you see down there has a cooldown. So this, that, this, that, this, that, this, uh, this thing. Like, everything has a cooldown, and it varies. Wait, lies? Wait, is there something down there that doesn't have a cooldown? What doesn't have a cooldown? Oh my, I didn't realize I had flash jump down there. And the pickup, oh my. And the potions. Well, okay, potions can have a cooldown in certain boss fights. But, <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. Ignoring this, this, the potions, this button that doesn't exist, and this buff. Everything else has a, and this skill. <laughs> Everything else has a cooldown. Wait, is there? Is there not a cooldown on uh, Pursuit? No, there isn't. 
I don't even remember. What button do I have it on? That button, huh? Yeah, this doesn't have a cooldown. But anywho... Wait, it does? Wait, really? Ah, point twenty seconds. That is not a cooldown. That is barely any... Well, okay, technically it is still a cooldown. But that's like barely anything. I can spam that. Anywho, uh, this class is all about, like, pressing buttons at a certain timing. So if I wanted to, like... So normally this attack right here launches you backwards. But if you're in the air, it doesn't. So you have to use a skill that would put you into the air. Uh, in this case, it would be this. Or I could even use... Uh... I guess I could do this, but I'm not going to do that. And then you have to cancel it with this skill. Which looks like... Hold on. I messed up. <laughs> yeah. So let me see, it's this... There we go. Oh yeah, that, but that class has a lot of, like, key presses. If you want to be optimal. And I just don't want to do that. Um, now for the class that has the least amount of buttons to press. Also, across all the characters, do you have one considered as a main? Yes. That is stronger and higher level than the others? Yes. For me, that is my Buccaneer. It is my highest leveled character, as you can see here. As well as, I've been, it's just the class I enjoy the most. Um, and then I also second main Bishop, I third main... Uh, Ark or Battle Mage, whichever one. And then fourth main, Ark or Battle Mage, whichever one. And I'm trying to bring Marksman and Angelic Buster up, but they're later on. But I have every class at least level 210. There's, well, except for these. These are just extra length skills. Um, but yeah. Now, let's see. The class that has the least amount of button presses is either Hero or <laughs> Nightlord. <laughs> the thing with Nightlord, though, is that they have a mobbing skill and a bossing skill. With, uh, with Hero, you have a mobbing skill and a bossing skill in one. Hmm. Yeah, probably hero. Got to use sword illusion. Hmm. Oh wait. No, I was going to I was going to say Lynn, but no, she has the other skills that you can use. I would say Hero is probably one of the more simple classes. And then you said Night Lord. Let me see. Hmm. How many buttons do you really need to press in this class? Alright, so are we counting buffs? If we're counting buffs, then that's three right there. And then this is for mobbing. Oh my goodness, that lag. This is for mobbing, so that's four. Five for bossing. Uh, and then... Hmm. Maybe. Oh, uh, I would say level... only determines what bosses you can fight. Level doesn't really determine uh, power in this game. Because most of your power comes from equipment. Oh, by the way, equipment in this game? Like, most games are like, oh, you want to wear the whole set for, like, you know, uh, because it's the best. Not in this game. In this game, you can see I'm level 220. I'm still using level 150 armor. Because this is the best armor to use until you get to the level 250 armor, which is 
end game. Um, yeah, in this game, we kind of like optimize sets. So instead of getting the full set of, you know, pretty much anything, uh, you kind of mix and match sets. <clears throat> so this character has uh, what's called Absalab set, um, and I only have four pieces. I would actually have to switch this to Arcane, but whatever. Uh, for this, you only do three sets because the 50 attack from the three set is very beneficial versus getting the overall of any of these other sets. And the other reason overalls aren't as good as this set is because you don't get as much stat for having two pieces of armor, or you get more stat for having two pieces of armor versus one. So yeah. Uh, do you have raids to get those equips? So in Maple, there's not really raids per se. They're just bosses. Um, let's see. So yeah, you would have to fight certain bosses for these gear. These pieces of gear. Um, but you could buy them as well, if you play in interactive. So like, these bosses are very important for those three pieces of gear that I just showed you. Uh, this one gives the weapon, but the weapon eventually gets over uh power <coughs> power crept by other higher leveled weapons which will come from either this guy or this guy and then those weapons get power crept by what we weapons that drop from these guys i think it can also drop from this one too hold on let me check uh what level and percent is my main right now 74 percent to 84 i believe oh yeah they do drop it Most of the bosses have a six-member party limit, too? Yep. You can only have six people. Although most people, their goal is to solo everything. This is a... This game loves promoting party play, but then being like, oh, we're actually going to take something away from you for being in a party. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, oh, you want to beat the boss faster? Do it in a party! Oh, what's that? You have more than one person in your party? We're going to reduce the amount of meso you make from being in a party. Ooh, very nice. Early grats on 285. So, to explain what I was just talking about, each boss has a certain amount of meso they give you uh, for defeating them. If you solo them, you get the price that you see here, which is great. So, you know, good amount of meso for interactive. Um, however, for every person in the party, it cuts the Mesa in half. So if you duo, you just cut that number in half. You, uh, trio. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> and then there's splits for party? Yeah. So the goal in this game is really just to try to solo everything, but it's definitely more fun to party. Is there any meta character that's naturally stronger than others? Yeah, but not a lot of people want to play them. <laughs> so right now, the strongest characters in the game are the one that I showed you before that has a whole bunch of buttons and cooldowns. The thing is that it's very hard to control, and people don't really want to learn it. But if you put in the effort to learn the class, you're extremely powerful. You can survive really well. Um, Blaster, also very powerful, but also a combo class. It's basically the more effort you put in, the stronger it is, but not for every class. There's a class in here that a lot of people were saying is, like, really good and really simple, which is this one. But I don't think it's actually that powerful, but whatever. Correct. Uh, for a balance of power and ease of play, Nightwalker is probably your best bet. Nightwalker is probably top... No, definitely top 10 in the game. But they're also not hard to play at all. Thing is that they're a thief, and thieves are often very popular. So their gear is going to be more expensive. Top 3? My goodness. I didn't think they were that good. <laughs> wow. Um... Yeah. 
yeah exactly um but here let me let me show you hero which is the class i was talking about before that i feel like has like not a lot of buttons to press if you just want to play a very you don't want to actually oh i think aaron actually might have the least amount of uh keyboard space because with aaron you could just press arrow keys to get all their skills out it might be aaron actually <laughs> Aaron might have the least amount of key space. Or, sorry, the most amount of key space. So you have a lot of space in your keyboard. But uh, with Hero... Your mobbing and your bossing skill are both the same. We just get charged up here, and there we go. Yeah, Kadena has no keyboard space. Now, there is another skill that they meant to make the mobbing skill, which is not that. Uh, this, they, I think they wanted this to be the mobbing skill because it has a lot of uh, normal damage. Normal monster damage. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, yeah, so when attacking normal enemies, 50% damage increase. However, this is just as strong. So people just use this instead. But yeah, this is also the bossing skill. But if you want a class that's just like, hey, I just want to press one button for mobbing and bossing, this is probably the one. Now let me show you Aaron, because Aaron doesn't need any keyboard space. Uh, that's not true. You need space for Beyond Blade and fifth job skills and sixth job skills. But for all of their other skills, you really don't need to put them on your keyboard. So if you like fighting games, you might like this character. Uh, where's my other toggles? There we go. So while I can put these skills on a keyboard, like I can put this somewhere and use it, uh, there's a benefit to using arrow keys with your basic attack key. As you can see right there, it says press down, right, arrow key. So if I press down, then right, and then press my attack key, wow. I I delayed that so much and it still came out. Did they really make it easier to do that? Down, right. Oh my god, they made it so easy. <laughs> Holy! Back when I played Aaron, you had to actually press the buttons like a fighting game, like down, right, attack. Now you can just do down, right, attack. <laughs> What? That's so easy! Wait. Down. Up. Okay. I don't think it works with that. Down. Up. Attack. Okay, it does work with that. Holy. Up. Attack. Oh my god, you can delay it so much. Uh, Aaron's upon us. Makes you sad, but you're optimistic. Yeah, me too. I'm hoping that they see that Aaron isn't as strong as they thought it might be, and that they buff the numbers up. Sure, they they lose their identity that they currently have, which I really like, but maybe it'll be for the better. Um, but so this class, you're going to be pressing the arrow keys and then your basic attack key. So if I press down, up, attack, I get this. Uh, up, down, attack, I get this. What was the other one? Up, right, attack, and I get like a or up, left, and attack, I get that. Hi hi. If I hold down the attack key, I finish a whole combo. And yeah. And if I press up attack, I get to like jump like this. Now there are benefits to using the uh the arrow keys. Where hold on, do I have it on my keyboard? I do. So this is me using uh, you know, just the key, like I'm pressing J right now. Which is this skill. You can see I don't go that high, right? But if I press up an attack, I go much higher. <laughs> so it is, there are benefits to actually using the arrow keys over pressing the keys on your keyboard. But uh, yeah, if I wanted to, I could take all of these off my keyboard, except for Beyond Blade and this. I could take that off my keyboard. 
Um, I think I have to have that on my keyboard. Have to have this on my keyboard. But yeah. Yeah, probably. I was going to start making the uh, So You Want to Be series again, but then I realized, you know, the, the update is like right around the corner. Like I have the Demon Slayer video already recorded and ready to be uploaded, but um, yeah, we only have, what, seven days until the, the update. Now then. Is there any event in the game uh, for new players? This game is constantly having events. However, for new players, I would say a lot of events help new players, yeah. Yeah, I'd say they're helpful for new players. Do so you want to be a jet? Oh, girl. Mm. Excuse me. Do not type exclamation point jet. Um, so... <laughs> you love that class? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, me and Jet have a history. I always said I hated Jet, because when they first came out, they were literally just a... They were there to showcase the future update, like the mutiny update, for Buccaneer and Corsair. And I was like, why, why does this class exist if we're going to get those skills later anyway, and they don't even use them properly? Then eventually they became their own class, they stopped copying other classes. But people kept being like, oh, so you're a jet main, right? I'm like, no, not all buck main. The other thing is, this skill used to be called Shockwave. When Jet came out and they had their version of Shockwave, it was called Static Thumper. For some reason, the coding got mixed up, and this skill then became named Static Thumper, even though it used to be called Shockwave. Even in the skill description, it says Shockwave. Anyway, uh, so that's another reason that I, I was upset about Jet. Um, <laughs> there, there were a lot of reasons that I did not like Jet. However, it was all in jest. I didn't actually hate them. I was just annoyed that my skill got changed and that they had my skills and weren't using them properly. But eventually, like right before they got deleted, they, they were actually their own class. They were their own individual class. I also hated that they were called a GMS exclusive when clearly they were just Zen but reskinned. Whatever. <laughs> um, what was I about to do? Oh, let me see. Was there another question? I completely forgot about it. Oh, events for new players. Right. So currently the. The current events are going to be going away in seven days, so I don't even know if I should be explaining this to you. Yeah, Maple Story Worlds is... Do you know the game Mario Maker? So it's like Maple Story Mario Maker. So you can take the assets from Maple Story to create your own games. And people took that and actually made like an old school server. So a lot of people have been enjoying that, which is where you'll see like r -tail streams and stuff. Because it's like a very, like a lot of people miss old school maple. So someone decided, let's create old school maple. And people have been enjoying it. But yeah, Maple Story Worlds is basically Mario Maker, but Maple Story. I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you do. So currently, the new events are this one. Um, they give you level up potions. They give you. EXP vouchers, which give you like a lot of EXP. Um, you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about this until post two hundred. You have to worry about this till post two hundred. Um, I would say everything up here helps new players. Everything down here, you don't really have to worry about until much later. As for the shops, they're all cosmetic, so just for playing the game, and you know doing your dailies and stuff, you can get these coupons. These coupons can then be spent on cosmetics. Uh, if you want to make your character look fancy, I'm actually going to be buying like two sets, like two full sets of this because I really like how this one looks. Um, and I'll probably buy this set as well. Maybe. 
But yeah, for fashion, this is an amazing event. But again, it's going away in uh, nine days. Or wait, no. This shop actually stays around for tw uh, until the 24th. The cape? Let me see. No, not that one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and there's also a shop for, like, mounts and chairs. Or maybe it's only mounts. I haven't actually checked. Looks like it's only mounts. Is that a chair? Oh. I guess, I guess they're all mounts. Damage skin? They have a damage skin box, too? Oh, by the way, you can change the way your damage looks in this game. So normally your damage looks like this. But with damage skins, you can change the way your damage looks. When you hit a monster or... Yeah, I think it's only when you hit a monster. I don't think it changes if you get hit. So I have a whole bunch of them. There's this one where you can have like... When you attack enemies, it looks like cats. Or music. Just a whole bunch of different ways your damage can look. If you see that it has a U, um, it will condense the numbers that you do. So, or, that makes it sound like you do less damage. I'll show you what I mean. So this character does a bunch of damage. So of course my screen's going to be filled with numbers. So you can see these are very big numbers. And it can kind of clutter your screen sometimes. But... With unit... With unit damage skins... It can condense those numbers. So now it says like 10 bill rather than showing the whole, you know, all the digits. It's very nice. I wish every damage skin had that option, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. And then there's some that just hide your damage. Like, now I don't know how much damage I'm doing. Ooh. So, yeah. A lot of customization in Maple. Um, also, if you don't want to have to rely on that, you can also change the way your damage looks uh, just through the options as well. It won't change, like, the skin, but it'll change... Let me see, where is it? Is it under game? No. Effects. Yeah, so you can do something like this. <laughs> Invisible, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of licks. You should keep your tongue in your mouth, though. Oh my goodness. Oh, no! Oh, whoops. <laughs> so I think this is the one that, uh... That they kind of force... Or not force, but like, this is the default one that they try to make you use. Where your damage is just like... Crawling up the screen or whatever. Um, there's that one, and then there's Blade, which kind of like keeps the numbers on a single line. Uh, you can also make the numbers smaller, which is like this. So now the numbers are much smaller, not taking up as much space. And of course, there's a small version of all those ones that I just showed. But I like just the basic. I'm an old school mapler, so I just like the basic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, what should I use? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, here's the cat one. <laughs> Adorable. This song. Wait. Oh, I guess that's for crits. I was like, why is he wearing arcane gear? My goodness. I really like the, um, 
think it's called monotone. No, not monotone. What is it called? Chrome? Yeah, it's chrome. Do I have it on this character? I don't think I do. I think I moved it to another character. But the chrome damage skin is nice because it uh rounds your numbers. It, like, rounds your numbers up. So it's just like, the only number that's not a zero is the front number, or the first digit. Last digit? Because since the first digit at the end, whatever. <laughs> Uh, should I use this one? Yeah, I'll just use this. Oh, I want more unit skins, though. I I just want to... Mm, I want this one to be unit. <laughs> I really do. I guess I'll use this for a bit. Mushroom, mushroom. But yeah. That's maple. Don't bunk me. Oh my, and then you go AFK, okay. They don't make many readable units. Oh, I think... I think the one on my battle mage is pretty pretty readable. Either my battle mage or angelic buster, I can't remember which. Maybe I just like looking at it. Maybe that's what makes it readable. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. A lot of them are uh, pretty hard on the eyes sometimes. What do I have on this? Yeah, that looks nice. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth on the eyes. Whoa, what was that like? I pressed jump like ages ago. Anywho. This might be my favorite uh, unit damage skin. Eh, maybe not. I just like how it... It's, it's just cute. I do wish it was like all purple instead of having that little bit of pink or just all pink, but... Whatever. Now, oh, let me see. I did my... Oh, I was doing my Marksman's Dailies. Right, right. And then I got uh, asked a few questions. I remember now. In your opinion, Invisible shouldn't be a damage skin? I agree. I also don't think that there should be set unit damage skins, I think that there should be some option to turn any damage skin into a unit damage skin. But I'm sure that would... I don't know, maybe that would take a lot of programming. Or maybe not, I, I have no idea. I'm not a programmer. But I would like to have any damage skin be a unit damage skin, please. Why did I put that down? I'm about to be done with this map in like no time. Just making an option to disable numbers? Yeah, that would be nice. But then they can't uh, sell damage skins. There, there wouldn't be a market for damage skins because everyone would just use the invisible damage skin. Um, I can use... Pretty sure I can use this. I don't even know if this is the map I want to use. Uh, maybe? Yeah, let's try this map out. So, I'm going to put my teleporter here. Do this. Pichu has a message in his happy birthday, but today's not my birthday, but thank you very much. I appreciate it, but, you know, it's not my birthday or anything. Let's 
600. Oh, hold on a second. Maybe I'll use a more... Uh... An easier map? Because once Split runs out, I will not be able to train like this. Or, I say train, but do my daily like this. So yeah, I guess I'll go to um, the spider map. That map's nice and simple. Let's go to spiders. A lot. Um, I think our orbs get like, I think someone said 50% uh, FD gain, but I don't know how true that is really. Let me check again what they said. Um, we get 50% FD on our orbs. So yeah, our burst gets more bursty, since our burst right now is uh, kind of icky. So I guess they're going to buff it to make it an actual burst. But overall FD, don't know. I guess we'll uh, have to wait and see when it's actually out, and then the bucks that want to do the calculations can do the calculations. Yeah, orbs and vortex. The thing about vortex, though, is currently we don't even use it for damage. And I don't know that we will, even after the change. Because it's just so useful as a uh, mobility tool. I think there's a toggle. You can like toggle it on and then turn it into like a burst skill. But I, I think that's only really going to be used pre six job. Or pre super octopunch, which is six job, of course. But we'll see. We will see. I, I believe. Wait, 235. Oh no, 240 is Celis. So yeah, I believe we're done. Oh, please. Give me all the EXP, please. I'm pretty sure I did Monster Park already. Probably do Galux. I do need those Galux coins. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. And again, today's Tuesday. Mm, I should do my weeklies. I should do my weeklies. Will I? Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, Boom is right. Do I really want to waste this? No, I don't. I think 300 is enough. Chocolate. <laughs> what is that quote? Hmm. No, no. You you were asking about Highberry, who happens to be so you know it was just it was a reply to your question. I don't even know what that is. Uh so let me just make sure. Okay. Hopefully you get the max amount of coins if you have over 300%. Aw, cute. Bruh. What? <laughs> Wait, is this character Mary? Oh, I forgot that I married that. Oh, wow. I forgot that this character was married. Hold on, before they fame me, before they fame me. Oh, they already got me, never mind. All right. Um, so let's switch to this. Make sure I'm in drop. Oh, I just realized that changed my link skills. Ah, eh, whatever. I think after the update, we get the option to, like, choose, uh, for the presets, like, a note, like, not switch option. But right now, we have to choose a preset. I believe in the future, in seven days. Is it seven days? Yeah, seven days, uh, we can, like, not change it. Uh, let's do this, that. I really don't have to buff up like this. Lux is not really worth all this. At least not on this character. Uh, you played Bishop to 243. Fun? Yeah, it is very fun. Yeah? I think people already sleep on it. I love my marksman. Oh. Well, then I can be like, oh, yeah, I was I was playing Marksman way before all of you. <laughs> oh, that's going to be really nice. Wow. Oh, um, switch to drop rate. And I think that is it.
do 70 Dark Knight. Nice, nice. Can I really? Oh. We can star request? Indeed. Type exclamation point SR space your YouTube or SoundCloud link. I should really stop saying the SoundCloud part because I don't even know if that still works. But yes, all of the songs on my list are usually me taking it from other people's requests. So if someone requests a song that I really like, I'll just throw it on my list. Excuse me. Nice, nice, nice. I'm missing something. Oh, okay. Uh, 192. Oh, cool. I wonder if this will one shot. Oops. I wonder if this will one shot. Wait, how am I doing that? All right, whatever. Probably will. I mean, Origins are very, 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 very powerful. Yeah. Probably if I used all of my bursts, or all of my buffs. Let me just check, make sure I'm in drop gear. Familiars are out. Yeah, I guess that's it. I was so confused for a second. I was like, what? Where did I get a vac pet from? I forgot that Terry was uh, a thing. Speaking of, when does he expire? Oh, very soon. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Is this character married? It isn't. Oh. Also, why don't you have a background? I will give you... Sure. Oh yeah, now I get to try out the thing. I am curious if the... I don't know if the Roar 1 beats my 17 star, uh... Oh, it's not even 17 stars. I don't know if it beats that. It doesn't? Ooh! Thank you very much, Foxy Knights, for bringing some friends over. Really appreciate it. I'm not on my buck right now, but thank you. Right, this five on dice. Uh, should probably change into drop gear after the fight, so I, you know I'll, I'll do that. Hello, hello. 
Alright, you said it doesn't, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Just because I've never used Aurora before. <laughs> Why? But I'm fighting Gal Okay, hold on. Galux, don't kill me, okay? Do not kill me. The first thing you did was kill me. Sing song. All right. So this, that. And then this. Oh, I don't have Angelic Buster. So we do this. That. We don't need that anymore, so... There we go. And then we use this. Uh, how much drop rate do you have? Not a lot. Hmm. Oh, right, because I'm not using drop gear. Much better. So, I guess I would need a Roar 3 at least. I don't want a ring swap, though. Even though apparently it's Ark's best uh, option. How much is Aurora 3? Eight hundred mil. Mm. Yeah, I'm good. Art got nothing? Yeah. Nexon believes they're in a pretty good spot right now, so they didn't need anything. Their hyper skills a bit better? Oh, how so? Condensed. Oh, the uh, the 161, the, the one that does damage? I guess it doesn't last as long. That's really nice, actually. I like that. Because too many times I hold down the skill for too long and then an attack comes out and then I have to go through the animation of letting it go early and... Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Also, I am not going to play my Night Walker right now. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> true. Very true. Uh, let's do Marksman instead. Wait, didn't I already do good looks on my Marksman? Oh, I didn't. Nice. Wait. Really? Hmm. Um, alright, this, that. Do I have drop gear? I do not have drop gear. Mm 
Do I have a drop rate and her ability? Nope. So this character just doesn't have any drop rate at all. Alright, but I put everything on, so... I guess we can do a before and after... Well, okay, no, I have... I have event buffs on right now. And I assume the event buffs won't last after the update. Because I was going to say, we can test the damage that I do now compared to after the buffs. But... Yeah, we can't do that because we have event buffs right now. Oh well. Hmm, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so let me get my buffs ready. And then burst. Wait, did? No, okay. Ooh. Oh yeah. How many coins do I have? Not enough. Angelic Buster is so strong. Like, my marksman is, I think, 7... No, 19k dex. This character is not. My marksman also has, I think, 7.7 .7 mil combat power. This character does not. And yet, this character can beat Galuxin around the same time. Like, what? Okay, not the same time, but like this... Uh, kind of. Hold on, let me show you the Punch King. Okay, so it's not that close, but... Jello Buster, you are very, very powerful. Like, if this character had the same amount of decks and same combat power as my Marksman, it'd be insane. Anyway, let me... Use this to boost my damage a bit. Uh, how many times have I transferred Link skills today? Oh. Guess I transferred too many times already. In that case, let's get rid of that. What else was it? Get rid of these. Um, I won't need that. 
don't need that. Uh, yeah, that's good. Sure. Um, you know what? Let's take that one off to put that on. And I don't think I need IED. Never mind, I definitely do. Mm. All right, cool. Also, who, oh, who are you? You are adorable. And I don't have any drop gear on this character. Nope. Mm, excuse me. Oh. I did not have a five on dice. Whoops. Any familiars? No. Any drop rate? Drop rate anywhere? Any drop rate at all? No. Okay. You what? I did not mean to activate that. Oh well. Wait. This character has rope lift. I don't know why I said it like that. Nice. Okay, uh, how far does this go? Pretty far. Okay, I think we got this. Just get some damage over time. Go ahead and do an attack. Thank you. Now do your seduce. That's not seduce. There it is. All right, let's get five on dice. This, that. This, that. Wait for him to do the thing. Perfect. This, that. I'm just gonna iframe here so I can continue bursting. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that it's only a 10 second iframe. On. There you go. Ooh, that was close.
Bring out the hand, please. Thank you. So now I can do this. I wonder if that hand actually would have done damage. Even though the phase was over. Hmm. Alright, this, that. I could mini burst right now, but he's almost dead. No need. <laughs> uh, that crowd is going crazy. All right. I really only have 36%, huh? All right. That's something. Wait, when does this head expire? Yeah, we have a month. We have a whole month to get re enough reward points to bring it back. Yeah, they are. No. No. This version? Oh, boy. Good luck, everybody. Well, I'm going to be changing games. <laughs> Who put it? Do you not like the idea of me changing games? I have gotcha dailies to do. And plus, now you don't have to listen to this. But I do. Uh, let's see. Should I start with Genshin or Star Rail? Genshin or Star Rail? Genshin or Star I'm going to do both, so it doesn't matter. Just do Genshin first, I guess. FBI what? Why up! FBI? What did I do? Oh my goodness. Holy. Adorable. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was totally a different song. I thought it was going to be like, doom, 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 doom. Wait, is it? Wait, it is. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see where this goes. Hold on. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Amazing is what it is. Type exclamation point song to find out what the song is as well as who requested it. Uh, what do I have to do? Uh, what kind of events are... Oh, this event is back! Let's go. I like this event. Free stuff. Uh, 
Uh, is it over here? Still in the same spot. And yes, I am a Chi Chi main. However, uh, this is my friendship team. So everyone on this team needs to get their friendship to level 10. Uh, I don't like those rewards, but whatever. Oh, bonk, what did I... Oh. Uh-oh. Um, don't worry about that. Ignore the quote. Uh, what was I... Right, dailies. <laughs> why bonk? I mean, I know why, but... It's not my fault, okay? Never mind. You know, I'm just going to skip these, these dailies so I can get to Star Rail. Just got to do one run of this. Actually, uh, what's her name? Might already have level 10 friendship. Let me check real quick. No, but she's close. No, I might as well do all three runs. Oh, hello. And if it's Elemental Master, you don't really need crit. Whatever, I'll do it anyway. Change? What's that? Ooh. Very nice. Ah, oh, I can't be I can't wait until we can move our buffs wherever we want. Like on the screen. Cause I don't know whether or not Infinity is, like, expired or not. And whenever I use an origin skill that has, like, an after effect and it might open up the box, like the loot box, I can, like, finally find it and take it off without having to worry. It's gonna be so nice. Just being able to organize the buffs is just amazing. Oh wait, nope, 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 didn't do my dailies yet. Forgot to hand them in. Nice. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, and that's my dailies on disc. Uh, one, seven more days. Genshin dailies are very quick thanks to that. Now, time for Star Rail. 
Now I am doing my friends dailies as well, so we're going to spend a little bit more time on it. Ooh, what is this? You know, what, let me do his account first. Uh, let's make sure the game actually changed. Of course it didn't. But I assume the title did. Because the title always changes correctly. Yep. You know what, maybe tomorrow will be a Witch Spring R stream. Honky Starbucks. Alright, so what dailies do I do for you today? Wait, something new? Wait, what'd that say? Oh, 13 days left, yeah. Um So we'll do I keep opening up the same thing. Do this. Is that how much time until it expires, or... You know, I'm just going to take it anyway. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, alright, so what do I want to farm for him? Maybe I can farm this. Maybe. I wish he did the story, but I can't farm that for him yet. So you know what? I'll just farm these. Hopefully his team can handle it. Now I relax. My goodness. She's so powerful. Wait, what did I say? I want to see those rabbits attack again. It, it says something about weakness? Do they do something with weakness? Okay, so they're about to attack. Let me take a look. Okay, well, she went again. Oh, we skipped the rabbit's turns. Okay. I guess I'll have to actually look at the skill itself. Oh, wait, here we go. Didn't say it. Hmm. I mean, this isn't my account, so... My team is all about Yun Li. Kill the many! 
I really want to build his link shot, but you can't fight the bus necessary for the gear or the things. <laughs> yep. I don't have Firefly or Ronme or Ling Sha. Oh, I actually got a Clara recently. Clara? Clara? She's been, uh, very fun. Hello, hello! How's it going? Um, so I think that was 120. So are we done with our dailies? Nice. Hope you're doing well. Excuse me. Uh, their computer broke, so they can't play it. Um, but they also have the... I don't know what it's called, but the thing that you get, like, 90... Uh, Pull, not, not, not pulls. You get 90 things. So they didn't want that to go to waste. Oh, she's calling me. Who's been using my account or my characters? Noise, noise. Alright, let's do this. I'm doing alright. Can't complain. Uploaded a video today, streamed today, so I'm pretty happy. Glad I was, oh, Akron's coming back. Glad I was yeah, glad I was able to do so much. Should probably record another video. Just not sure what it will be. Maybe Black Mage from Maple. Um okay, so we got these done. Yeah, it's telling me that there's only Oh wait! Oh this reset! Oh beautiful, that's gonna be fun. Alright, Clara, what's going on? Sure. <laughs> Thank you, girlfriend. Uh, okay. We should bring... Oh my god, we should definitely bring him. I mean, it's a given, though. But... I, I do want to say it anyway. It's a given, though. <laughs> Aww. All right. Wholesome. Oh, uh, what's in here? Right, I still have to do the... the event. I'll do it eventually. All right, um, what was I farming for? Wait, who's messaging me? Oh. No video? Nope. Oh, right. I was farming for uh, Ting Yun. Mm. Mm. Okay. You know what? I will do this. I'm gonna use someone's character. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'll use someone's character. Let's use your hua hua. Give them some credits and also get 200 points towards my daily.
Also, I just realized I'm using the wrong team. Oh well. Wanted to use Clara for fun. I'm also trying to build Clara. Right now, the two characters I'm trying to build are Clara and uh, Ting Yun, but I don't have Ting Yun. So it's kind of just preparation. Wow, that picture would for sure get me uh, FBI. <laughs> use this team for fun. It'll probably take longer, but I'm fine with that. Oh, it's over. That's how that works, okay. I wasn't sure if Yun Li would do her uh, counter, or if Clara's, uh, or if Sarag would attack first. so cool. Nice. Alright, so that should be enough of that. And my daily should be done. But I'm going to keep playing because pure, no, yeah, pure fiction apparently uh, reset. And I got another message. Actually, wait. Um, Clara. Let's farm this for now. While we wait for, uh, Ting Yun to come back. And of course, this team isn't optimal. I just like it. My goodness. Well, 
Wait, actually... Alright, I have to check after this. This is a very fun team. But yeah, not optimal. So wait, is this... Is this something I have like a billion of? Like, if I were to... No, it's not. Okay, good. I thought it was, like, one of those, like, materials that's, like, super easy to get. Because you can get it through, uh... Yeah, I thought it was this. I was like, I have so many of those. There's I should not be farming this, but... Apparently not. Okay, so wait, what do I need? Okay, so that's all I need for that. How many can I make? Let's go again. Okay. Thirty four K. Wonder how much damage she's going to do when I actually build her. Team's doing work. It really is just a meme team. I, I, mm, like, they don't. Mm, Yun Lee and Clara don't really work well together because they're both taking each other's jobs. But I like it. Won't stop me from using it. Reject meta. Maintain cuteness. Oh, hello. All right. Um. Unless, of course, I'm doing like the end game content stuff, in which case I might join you guys on the meta. I might do some meta stuff. What's this? Dots, really. Um, okay, so maybe I can use my Black Swan again. Enemies, uh, damage don't reduce. Wait, enemy targets that receive dot have their damage dealt. Oh, so they do less damage, okay. Oh, what's this do? Increase break, okay. Uh, oh, this is probably going to go to, uh... Uh, yeah, this might be my Yunli. After all, hmm. Does this require two teams or is just one team? 
It is two teams. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Um... Do I bring back my Black Swan? Certainly could. But I won't. Alright, so this first team we're just going to do... Um... You know what? Just for fun. <laughs> just for fun, I could use Black Swan. And then this team will be... Mm. Yeah. Uh, don't really want to do break, so we'll do... After an ally uses ultimate to attack an enemy... Sure. Mm, honestly, both of these teams are ultimate teams, so... Sure! So... What's up? Why are you gonna haunt me? Excuse me. No, I cannot. No. Oh, I did not expect you to die. <laughs> you weren't supposed to die. You were supposed to hit me. Every time you attack an enemy, they get a speed up. Interesting. Oh no, I love Hunt March. She's amazing. Such a versatile character. Hmm. 
Ja. Why didn't you attack me? Please don't buff. Please don't buff. Just attack me. Oh my goodness. Everyone's just dying. <laughs> Stop dying and hit me. Thank you. Oh, that's it? Wait, wasn't there supposed to be a boss? Oh, maybe not. Alright, um... Let's do this. Beautiful. Yun Lee, not so much. Clara, yes. Yun Lee is kind of like playing a... What's it called? A counter character. Or a parry character. Mm, who's going next? He is... Ah, uh, sure. Hmm, I don't have to use it. <laughs> Jeez! Uh... You know, hype for the next banners? Mmm. I shouldn't have used this yet. Should have waited until new enemies spawn in, but uh, whatever. Who's going next? He is? Okay, we're fine. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a skip to me. Oh, I can't give him another thing. Oh, well. This is fine. Oh, yeah. I really don't want to use my ultimate on one person. But... Okay. 
I think I have more than enough points for uh, max stars. Probably just end this now. Wait, can you end it early? No. Or maybe return? I don't know if that would do it. Or if that would restart my progress. Everyone always picks on Bella. Stop picking on Bella. And there you go again. You're picking on Bella again. Oh wait, there's only four stages. Oh. Um. Uh. Uh. All right. So we're not going to have dot for this, but that should be okay. Okay, definitely don't want to deal with this guy. He's always going to be the first target I go for when I see him. Hit me! Now die! Uh, probably should have yet you and Lee go. Oh well. Oh, 
Yep, take him out as soon as possible. Get some energy. Oh, you killed him. He was about to attack. Oh, he's about to attack now. His replacement. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, let's do this. Give me some energy. Oh, but that guy's about to attack. Oh, disgusting. Go ahead, do no damage to me. Alright, before you do that, um... No, let's do this. Then you get to go again. And let's just kill this guy, because I really don't like that enemy. Not on my, not against you and Lee, at least. Oh, very nice. Uh... Yeah. Then I'll do this to get rid of you. Perfect. Let's do this. And then... Which one goes first? This one? So let's get rid of... You. Wait, which one's going next? This one? Hold on a second. Yeah, it is that one. Arrgh. Yeah. Okay, perfect. do that. Hello there, lady. Um, I really want to get rid of this thing. All right, let's take you out first. And then I really don't like that enemy because it doesn't actually do any damage. Yeah, that's fine. Just 
don't let this guy go any faster. Uh, let's do this. Hundred percent don't want him to do anything. Okay, actually I don't want him to not attack, so we'll just Oh wait, but I can get more energy. Yeah, okay. This worked out. So now... Oh, she's not going to get her ultimate, though. Hmm. Maybe I should just kill for more points? Very close. Actually, she might get her ultimate now that I look at it. Oh, but she's not going to be able to use it, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just do this. Use my ultimate. Hope that he attacks me. And that's the best I can do. Nice, nice, nice. Mm, so this one. Let's do this. Beautiful. <laughs> and again, everyone's picking on Pella. Now I see why dot damage is uh, preferred. It's because every time you hit them, they go faster, which means they take more dot damage that way. And dot damage is boosted. So it makes sense. So maybe I'll throw Black Swan on the team again. Oish. Stop attacking Pella. Thank you. Um, sure. Really don't want to use my ultimate on a single enemy. Oh well. Why are you guys broken already? Why? Why just? So okay. Uh. All right. Let's do this, and then I can probably do this to break him, which will then despawn him. And now that thing takes his place. Okay. Oh, 
八角お褒めに厚くせっかくですからぜひ召し上がってください Oh, he's not going to take damage from. Oh, wait, now he is. Thank you so much, Aventurine. Can I do this again? Oh, close. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Whoa, hello. <gasps> you jerk! <laughs> eh, might as well. Then let's do this. Oh, I need someone to unfreeze her, please. Uh, I guess I have to become her turn for it to unfreeze. Mm, okay. Thank you. That's fine. We're gonna reach 50k. We did. Nice. Um, let me see who goes next. Okay, so Akron doesn't get a turn. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is it. Oh well, at least we got 50k. Maybe if I put uh, Black Swan on the other team, I could probably get to 60k. Since this is very dot damage focused. Yeah. Wait, how much points? 28. Okay, so yeah, definitely if I put Agron or uh, Black Swan on this team, it'll probably do amazing. Too bad I'm not doing that tonight. Wait, if they're putting... If they're putting dot damage focused uh, things, then you would think it would be a dot character coming. Hmm. Divergent also changed. Oh well. Now I would play Weathering Waves as well, but I'm gonna end the stream tonight. Oh, it was fun. I think tomorrow I'm gonna play uh 
Witch Spring R though. Yeah, so tomorrow will be a Witch Spring R day. If anything, maybe I'll start with Maple. Who knows? But good night, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope to see you on my next stream. Thank you very much for all the follows, the subs, the bits, the donations. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you have a wonderful night. We will not be raiding anybody tonight. So go to whoever you want. Head on over to anybody. I mean, unless you have something.